from 41 Seaver Way. Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on Carolina. First pitch coming your way next. Ready to get underway. Digging in, Tommy Edmond. Leading off tonight for St. Louis. The second baseman, Tommy The pitch. Edmund. That misses. And this one is off and running. Next offering misses. Ball two. Here comes a pitch. And that one wrapped foul. The 2 1. That's three down and in. Three ball, one strike. Tap to first, and that's just foul. And here's a 3 2. And down on strikes. One out. And now Bader up to the plate. The center fielder, Harrison Bader. And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. That one is absolutely belted. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And he's got himself a triple. Here's Nolan Arenado. That in third. The third baseman. Nolan. That Arenado. one's in there, 0 1. No score here, but a runner at third with one down. The next offering misses, and that is ball one. The one two. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now two out. Now it's Goldschmidt up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The pitch. That one misses. Ball one. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. Stays alive. And a one-two again. That one just misses. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that... Well, looked at the fastball for strike three there to end the inning. Bottom of the first. Here's Starling Marte. Leading off for the Pirates. The center fielder. Starling. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That's off the mark. One and one. Foul ball. At the belt and fires. That misses. It's two and two. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now it's Alex Dickerson. Batting second. The left fielder. Alex Dickerson. 
First pitch, not close. Next one misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. And there's the strike. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Next pitch is inside. And that's ball three. And down on strikes he goes. Two down. And now it's the that polar bear, Pete Alonso. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed oh, pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. And that one is lifted in the air. And that's the third out. Second inning set to go. Now the left fielder, Corey Dickerson. Carrasco back to work. In for a strike. And that is strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh 2 now. Started after it. Appeal to third. Did not go. Right hander kicks deals. Line drive base hit. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Batting six. The right fielder. Tyler O'Neill. In there in its own one. Nope. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. So now one and two. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. And there's a fly ball deep right field. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. You know, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest that gear and go a long way they to track that one field. down. Nothing down better here. than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Grounder might be two. There's one on the first double play. And that's the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now it's Frankie Lindor. North Carolina. The shortstop. Francisco Lindor. And the right hater back to work. Strike one. Here's the 0-2. And now one and two. Count is one and two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Here's a one two. Stays alive. Left hand batter waits. Foul ball there. And a pitch. And now it's even up. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Over to Goldie. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now it's J.D. Davis. Third baseman, J.D. Davis. First pitch doesn't find the zone. No score here in the second. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. That's hard hit in the line. Makes the grab on the run. That's out number two. 
Two outs, base is empty. Digging that in, it's good. the speedy outfielder, right Brandon field. Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. Check swing, went around. That's strike one. Kicks and deals. Ball one there. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Arenado over to pick it up. On to first. Inning over. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's the shortstop, Edmundo Sosa. The shortstop. Carrasco back to work. Sosa. On the ground to the left. The throw is wild and it gets away. Batting nine. The pitcher. Jordan Hill. Moved to second and he dives back in safely. Jordan Hicks in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next nope. pitch is downstairs. Seems like it can be really hard at times for pitchers to throw the ball right down the middle. They're so used to working on the edges, but then you have a guy up like this. He can't hurt you. Just throw it down the middle. The batter number 19, second baseman, Tommy Edmund. Pick off move to second, and he's back in safely. Edmund in the box now. No balls and a strike. In the air, center field. Marte moving under this one. And he makes the catch. And there are two outs. Harrison Bader next up for the Cardinals. Now that Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. Back here in Queens, here's a big power threat. Crash Davis. Leading off for the pilot. The catcher. Crash Davis. The pitch. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. And there's one down. Jeff McNeil stands in. The second baseman. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. On the ground, Edmund picks it up, throws to first, and a couple of quick outs. Batting none. No pitcher. Carlos. Go, let's go. Slice down the right side. Here's your one. Nope. Good eye right there. And another ball. Strike two. 
This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And that is that. New inning getting started. Now up for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. St. Louis, the third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And there's a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. That one misses in the dirt. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the pitch. On the ground to third. Toss to Alonzo. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Now batting. Singing, you can't ask for anything season. more. This guy checks Paul all the boxes Goldschmidt. offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time now today. Back. Here's Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Makes the catch. And that is that. Back here at the ballpark, here's the center fielder, Starling Marte. Carolina. The center and the pitch. Starling. And fouled Marte. off. Marte. Righty delivers. And misses inside. And now two and one after that missed inside. That one fouled off, two and two. The pitch. And now the count filled up three and two. In the air, left side, Dickerson. Has this one sized up? He's got it, one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying now closed. Head. If he no does that, here. he's going to be able to go now up left. the middle the other way with some authority Dickerson. instead of a fly out to left. Dickerson in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses. Two balls and a strike. That one in for a strike. Two and two. And the right hater deals. Fought off foul. That one not close. And now three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Right field down the line, and that one slices well. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Two outs, now base is empty. Base Here's Pete Alonso. Be careful with this guy. Oh, He's got oh, power. Oh. He can untie it with one swing. First pitch, and he just misses. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Righty to the plate. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Dickerson makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back 
back here at City Field. Now it's the right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Leading off for the Cardinals, the right fielder. And Tyler here comes. And a foul ball. And he deals. And there's a foul ball. And the 0-2. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one away. And stepping now up to the dish is Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina. Chop left side. And he grabs it. Foul. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And the first two set oh, down to the top oh. of the fifth. Two outs, base is empty. Edmundo Sosa next up for the Cardinals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next pitch misses. Now 2-0. Oh. Kicks and fires. Late with the swing there. To third. Can't glove it cleanly. No throw. He's safe at first. Jordan Hicks getting ready now to back. hit. The pitcher, Jordan Hicks. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Tapper back to the mound. Toss to Alonzo. And that is the third out of the inning. Welcome back. Now up to him, Francisco Lindor. The shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Here comes a pitch. Lindor swings and blasts one. Deep left field. And gone! Now it's J.D. Davis. Now batter. The third baseman, J.D. First pitch Davis. just misses. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And it is two and one. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Dickerson makes the catch. And there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Now batting. Here's right Brandon field. Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo. On the ground, right side. Molina on the first. Two gone. So up next. Crash Davis. The catcher, number eight. Crash Davis. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Now a pop up on the infield. Sosa under it. And that ends the inning. All set for the top of the sixth. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, off Tommy to Edmond. The second baseman, Tommy Edmond. The pitch. Ball off one. the mark there. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. That one to first. Takes it himself. One up, one down. Harrison Bader. Up next, next up for the Cardinals. Cardinals. One for two. two. Harrison Bader. That one down the line. Alonso takes it himself. Two up, two down. Stepping in, Nolan Arenado. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. That one's in there, 0 1. 
Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well. Well, he's plays out. made there, and that retires the side. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Now he steps out of the box the as he baseman. asks for time. Hicks back to work up the middle Edmund slings the first one away bottom of the sixth next to hit Carlos Carrasco the pitcher Carlos Carrasco So they turn to a bat off the bench for the pitcher, Khalil Lee. Looking to start something with one gone. Lee. And he lays down a bunt. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. Next offering is in for a strike. to count one and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. So the batting order now turns back. over. Starling Marte up to him. Starling Marte. And that one lifted in the air center field. Bader gets under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. That is the inning. Adam Adovino getting the call to the mound. And he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Adovino. Back here in Queens, we go to the top of the seventh. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt. The first base swings and misses. Four one. This guy's sink has so much drop in it, it's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. And the righty deals. Hot shot to third. In plenty of time to first, one out. A key out to start the seven. There's Dickerson now. In there for strike one. Foul ball, he stays alive. The tying run at the plate. In the air, left field. And that'll get off into the seats. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. And up next for St. Louis, Tyler O'Neill. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. In there, and it's 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Looking to get the tying run on base. Three. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Nick Wickren on the pitch here, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Nick Wickren.
set for the last half of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Alex Dickerson. For the Pirates. No left fielder. The pitch. Alex Dickerson. And that one fouled off. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. So digging in, Pete Alonso. Alonso. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Well, notice they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, you'll be asking for a new baseball. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Two outs, base is empty. Francisco Lindor Francisco. comes up to the plate. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. Pulls it in on the warning track. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the catcher, Yadier Molina. Off the, the catcher, number four, Yadier Molina. And the right hander back to work. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Right-hander kicks deals. That one fouled off. The 0-2. On the ground, right side. McNeil handles the chance. Sends it to first. Lead-off man is out here in the eighth. And the now batter will be the shortstop, the shortstop. Edmundo, Sosa. Edmundo Sosa. Now a mound visit coming. And with the reliever just beginning throwing out there in the bullpen, this should buy a little more time to get him loose. First offering misses the mark. Count one and so now one and two. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Got him looking. Now two away. Pinch hitter coming on. Ali Sanchez looking for a two-out spark with the bases empty. First offering and it just misses. Next offering is in for a strike. Stays alive. The one two. Bounce to the right. McNeil gloves it to first. And that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Jake Woodford. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Woodford. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth. And now, J.D. Davis. Leading off for Carolina, the third baseman, J.D. Davis.
the wind of the pitch. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Real ugly 0-1 swing right there as a pitcher. Got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. The punch out there, and there's the one down. Fielder, nine, Here's a speed threat. Brandon, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Bounce to third. And a couple of quick outs. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. The catcher, Ball on the ground. Eight. Nice ground out. Right. Crash Davis Davis. will hit next. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is downstairs. 2 0 count. You really don't want to give in here. You've got to work the edges. Really execute a pitch. Hopefully, you can get back into this count. Slapped foul. The why to kick the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. The wind in the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Rolls across the diamond. That's the third out. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Yoan Lopez, trying to protect this lead. All set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in is the speedy Tommy Edmond. The second baseman, Tommy. The pitch. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Oh, and two now. And just misses with that one. The one two swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field no outs runner at first Harrison Bader digs in now Harrison Bader gets under and pops it up and Bader is set down and there's one down here's Nolan Arenado now back, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Here's the pitch, runner on the goal. On the ground, right side, and a base hit. To third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Up next for the Cardinals. One down, Paul Goldschmidt. Baseman. Next up for the Cardinals. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Next offering is in for a strike. It's a one-two. And a foul ball. The pitch. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Out towards right center field. Nimmo makes the play. Runner tags for home. He'll score on the sack fly. And they've tied it in the top of the ninth. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Corey Dickerson. Dickerson in the box now. Takes strike one. Oh, and two now. Ground ball right side. 
Alonso steps on the bag. That ends the frame. Back here at City Field, bottom of the ninth, and now here's Jeff McNeil. And time call with the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. This one rip, but foul to the right. And a pitch. A swing and a soft liner. And out number one on the grab. So now a pinch hitter for the pitcher, Mark Canna. He represents the winning run. Canna. Now coming into pinch hit. Mark. In the air, out towards left center. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. And now the center fielder, Starling Marte. Pitch misses inside. 1 0. These home fans. They are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. And a pitch. Line drive, base hit. Runner around third. The winning run crosses the plate, and they walk it off for the win. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact, and the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today.